What is up, XRP Army? Sometimes relief comes from the weirdest of places. Guys, we got a very interesting thing happening right now. If you are a fan of XRP, make sure you hit that like button on your way in. Let's kick this off. We're going to start with price action because if you know, you know. All right, so consolidation still in range. I'm expecting a breakout coming up into the 60 cent range and then a breakout above 60, 66 cents uh, before we do a continuation and a move on. That's the simplest way that I can put this. Now, the market, the market seems to be bleeding just a little bit today. Altcoins uh, are, are kind of dumping and a lot of that's meme coin based. So uh, interesting what's going on in the market. It's been kind of wonky. Uh, the one thing that's been up for the day has been Bitcoin. Ethereum has been kind of struggling and uh, Solana has been down. So, you know, meme coin, stuff like that, probably taking a little bit of a bath over the next day or two before a reversal possibly there. Now, um, that being the case, there could be a liquidity move for a dump. There's a lot in the 60,000 range still, and there's a lot down at 57. 000. So we could look at market makers trying to bring down price. Now, in the event that that comes, again, buy opportunity of your life if you can get back down in here, if you have not gotten yourself a bag of XRP yet. Now, if you haven't, I don't know what's wrong with you, but uh, there could be a dump down into this range before a breakout back up here. Now, if, the, if you already got a bag, accumulate when you hit that range. Uh, this is a long-standing trend line has been out here for a very, very, very long time. This is going back years and years and years. So uh, that would be a safe spot for accumulation in the anticipation of this next big breakout, which, um, you know, I've got it coming up here into that $25 range. So uh, I think that we're, you know, in, we're, we're in the cut right now for an explosive move. And the reason that you're nervous, the SEC, let's talk about the SEC before we do. The XRP breakouts, look, all of the analysts, we're all looking at it the same way. We're all kind of checking these charts. We're checking these ranges. We're checking everything that we see. Uh, you know, look, we've got a low RSI. Um, we're, we're in great straights across the board. So I, I think the important thing is there's going to be a breakout. Now, why am I bullish when the SEC is coming at us? Well, from the unlikeliest places, um, help arrives very. Now, if you don't remember very, years ago, the SEC, Jorge Tenrero, SEC's Enforcement Chief for Crypto Assets and Cyber Unit, is now facing a bar complaint from the Veritatum Group. And remember, this goes back a long time. Now, if you remember, let's take you back on a journey real quick. Um, he authorized lawsuits against Debtbox. And if you remember, Debtbox beat the SEC. And then Veritasium. Here's where it gets interesting. The legal battle between the Wall Street regulator and the crypto project started on August 12 of 2019 when the SEC sued Veritasium owner Reggie Middleton for crypto fraud for the filing. The SEC alleged that Middleton raised $15 million by selling unregistered securities through his initial coin offering and called for the court to freeze his assets. Now, if that was done in a programmatic way and it was done to retail consumers, the ruling by Judge Annalisa Torres means that he was wrongfully prosecuted. Notably, Middleton fought back, accusing the SEC of twisting the facts. However, he later reached a settlement with the regulators. He actually settled the debt, okay? But that doesn't include the holders. Despite this, holders of the token began to file a bar complaint against Henrero, who was the SEC's senior uh, trial counsel. So now, the guy who signed off on XRP is also now the guy that signed off on Veritasium, and Veritasium has now, the, the investors have now sued back the SEC for a wrongful accusation. And it cited the wrongful accusation against Debtbox, in which the case was dismissed because Debtbox was not having it, and they fought back and won and beat the SEC. The regulator, the SEC, paid $1.8 million in a fine for their aggressive and belligerent tactics. They settled with one, and then with the other, they continue to fight, and that other one continued to win. So now the investors for Veritasium are coming after the SEC, and they want a bar review of this guy for the policies, right? And really, it doesn't. Ver I don't think it goes very far, but it's a testament to the wrongful nature of what is happening from the SEC and how we're at the end of the SEC fight. Now, what does that mean more broadly? It's very simple. The SEC is wrong 
in their pursuit of XRP and Ripple Labs. And because of that, they're creating a problem and the problem is very soon gonna go away. This election will change everything. Yesterday, I told you, it doesn't matter who, who the president is. One way or another, Gary Gensler is out. Now, I did have some people uh, in the chat that later on, leave a comment down below, by the way, if you if you have an opinion about this. But um, they said that uh, they don't trust uh, one of the candidates. And I said, you know what? You don't have to trust either of the candidates, right? Just They said that's what they're going to do. We hold them to it until they don't do it. Uh, we don't assume that they lie. We know we know some of how American politics work, but the important part is no matter who is in charge, Gary Gensler is going to be out the door very, very soon. And that will change the dynamic of what's happening. And I suspect we'll also see the XRP lawsuit get dropped and that they will accept the $125 million settlement and that will be the end of it. Now, we still haven't gotten an update on the appeal. They have 14 days to file exactly what the nature of the appeal. Remember, they've only filed that they intend to appeal not the actual appeal itself. So we'll see what this ends up being. Everything so far from Mark Bagel, uh, Mark Fagel uh, to uh, Bill Morgan, all of these things have been just guesses and estimates of what's going to happen. Don't remember, don't forget John Deaton, who's running to oh, get get Elizabeth Warren out of office. Don't forget that John Deaton is also weighing in on this. Go read his comments on uh, Twitter. And uh, get ready, guys, because there is a big move coming. So that's that's all I got for the day. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is not financial advice, but I'm always right. From now until November 1st, if you make a deposit of $1,000 at Cryptonomy.finance, you will get a random bonus of between fifty dollars and $5,000. Also, guys, if you have anything that you don't understand about Cryptonomy, then I do special research articles on this platform. So if you are interested, you can come check them out. And if you have a question about any of these projects, then there is an opportunity here for you to learn about some of the cryptocurrencies, especially Aerodrome or Carve or something like that. You know I've got a lot of staking going on right here. I've got Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Tether all coming up to be unstaked very, very shortly. So join me in this. Reap the rewards like I'm reaping. And folks, don't forget, not only is Cryptonomy a robust staking platform, but it's also a venture fund. So if you want to apply, you can do that in the research section. Apply today.